and welcome to my recording on YouTube this is me Kevin Foster and I'm gonna show you how to use an audacity recording software it is similar to this um, it's called a beautiful audio editor so um, let's open up this here this is the app right here um, it's something like Audacity. Only thing is, it's a little different. So all you do is hit the app, open it, and then um, to import a file, which is this similar to Audacity now. It's the same thing, but you can download it as in three categories: um, in Wave mp3 and um, to do that um, you go in here um, um, and um, over here this is the this is the file for where you put your file edits to edit your file and the help is to check click in the help and the manage memory is for tell how much space is the file R make sure it's not too large so um, um, if the audio file is too large it, it will either freeze or crash during mid recordings so it's best to keep it small and to import a file you want to hit um, file so as you see here um, you import <laughs> you can import audio file from Google Drive or from your local hard drive disk on your Chromebook and export as wave and I can also show you this on Windows if they have it and you can save your project to a local file or later loading or a load project or an audio project file so to import a file which I mean download the song fish and poi from the slideshow that I made from Nori's a restaurant um, and this recording is brought to you by Audacity where you can record edit copy paste uh, merge your recordings mix your own music or whatever so and um, for the fastest 4G LTE network is to connect to Verizon Wireless and the best Wi-Fi network is Oceanic Time Warner King you get 100 megabyte, megabits per second and um, get free unlimited calling plans throughout the state of Hawaii and you get about 100 Wi-Fi hotspots throughout the state and you can get free HBO and Cinemax and epics included so um to import a file uh, we go in here it says import local sound file so let's make this quit so i don't make this recording go too long and here, these are the files that it supports so the red ones that means it doesn't support wma so um you click here and you choose a file or you can import no matter what so um, you hit here so as for me I'm gonna do a slideshow combination so um, if you go into your phone's removable drive here um, you can import audio files and then you click and it's not showing anything 
What's up with that? <laughs> well, anyway, um, to import a file, um, hit downloads here, and you can see the list of songs here that um that you can put in. I don't know why it's not showing any files on my phone, but um, um, if you can look through your, um, that's pretty weird. It should show on it. And so, I guess why when I'm using my phone, it won't, that means the source is in use. So um, let's look for a file, and to import a file, you hit this. Let's look for a Hawaiian song. No, it was shown on here. I guess you can import. Hold on a minute. So we've, let's try here to import, see if it will show up on the screen. Um, or you can hit here. No file spec. Just choose file again. Okay? It's not no showing no files on my phone. That is pretty weird. Uh, that is pretty weird. Okay. Never mind that. Um, so you're going to downloads. Um, you select a file. Let's look for something. So you select one, choose this, import audio file, then, then it will import, and um, this is the line, you see that? That's where the audio file is, and for import another one, you can import in secondary. Um, do this, import, you choose a file, if you choose file, <laughs> and then you hit, you don't want to hit the same one, you select, hit one, then, So you hit import. So the file is on secondary. And you can, um, and to delete one of them, you can do this. So that's how you import. And you can import it again. You choose, let's choose a nice song, not rap. <laughs> anyway, um, you can change the view here. So you select one. So like this file here, it's like this one. Hit import, then it will show. So watch the memory that is not using too much storage and then import on the second one again. Hit this one. And you can combine it together. Hit import. Wait. 
this and then and we play that let that song down let's see how you scroll okay let's scroll down here There we go, fishing. So you hit this one. Where is it? What's that song by I Really Love? Let's look for it. Um, right there. Hit that one. Hit import. Same thing again. Four hundred something. So, look like using more memory on that side than this side. So, watch the mem the memory that you manage because you can go over. So, um, if you want to combine them together, um, you do this. There's a way of doing this. Um. Something like Audacity now. Huh. Hmm. I'm gonna move this thing down here. So you move it. Yeah. There you go. Then after that, you might want to play it because it might not go all the way. So, and once you're done, you hit, uh, we don't want to download it as a wave because it might to be too big and it can take up space on your drive. So the safest way to do this you download as an mp3 again it's exporting it so you wait so as it, it downloads up it will save onto your drive and um, and you can put import another one if you want so but if you're going to have to watch on the space on the usage that is um Make sure it doesn't use too much memory. And um, as you can see, this is the bar right here. So once it's done loading up, it will load the file and it will download as MP3. And this one is Render the collected audio and of this project into a new track. So um, you can import another track. Um, you can cut it short. So to edit your track, um, I'll show you that in a minute. So. It's pretty much the same like Audacity, so, and, um, yeah, and that's how you use, um, uh, Beautiful Sound Editor. Um, and if you click on the help here, um, it will show you how to, um, um, use that app. A help at so um thank you for listening to this recording i will put it on youtube because now my account is verified i can do long recordings if i want to and um watch my videos and subscribe on youtube so thank you and very much goodbye